हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस कंटिन्यू क्विक रिविजन ऑफ वी एस ए क्यूज जूनियर इंटरमीडिएट जुआलॉजी इन प्रीवियस सेशन आई हैव डन द क्विक रिविजन ऑफ फर्स्ट फोर चैप्टर्स ऑफ जूनियर इंटर जुआलॉजी नाउ लेट मी कंटिन्यू दैट एंड इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल कंप्लीट द रिविजन ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट वी एस ए क्यूज इन दिस four topics unit 5 locomotion and reproduction unit 6 biology in human welfare unit 7 periplaneta americana cockroach unit 8 ecology and environment so this i am giving the title as part 2 so let me start so quick revision of all important vsaqs of first year zoology subject so let us start with locomotion and reproduction topic students this question is important draw a labeled diagram of cs of flagellum important in this question you are supposed to draw the diagram and you have to give the labelings important labeling without labeling you may not get marks so you have to draw a circle and as you know ts of flagellum is having 9 plus 2 arrangement of microtubules so you have to draw microtubules 9 plus 2 arrangement 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yeah. so these are peripheral doublets and two central singlets labeling is very important students here these are peripheral doublets and two central singlets that is microtubules so diagram labeling is very very important students so important labeling outer sheet peripheral doublets radial spokes central singlets dynein arms so these five labelings are very important students ha ah, you can write rest of the labelings like tubule a and you will be and all but don't forget to write at least these five labelings right next expected question students list two differences between flagellum and cilia flagellum is long whip like locomotor organal flagellum helps in undulatory movement whereas cilium helps in pendular movement see these are called undulations and this is called pendulation so this type of movement a lashing or undulatory movements are performed by flagella pendular movements are performed by cilium flagellum helps only in locomotion whereas cilium helps in locomotion foot collection so next to question students what are dynein arms students for ipe 2023 zoology exam i am giving triple star for this question and what is their significance students vsaqs you have to write minimum two statements 
because VSAQ carries two marks and two statements or two important terminology are mandatory students. Dining arms, the paid arms along the length of a tubule of each peripheral doublet. They are called dining arms. <coughs> dining arms are considered as protein motor molecules. Protein motor molecules. Here by using ATP, chemical energy is converted into mechanical energy. So conversion of energy is performed by motor. So dynein arms are considered as protein motor molecules. Next question. What is kinety? Again students, this is FAQ. Frequently asked question. Most important question. Make up your mind that this question is going to appear in upcoming board exam. So what is kinety? A longitudinal row of kinetosomes and their interconnecting kinetodesmata are called kinety. Kinety is a part of infraciliary system of ciliates. Important point students. Don't forget to write this point. So one mark, one mark. You will be getting two marks here. Next. Another triple star question. Even this is frequently asked question. Distinguish between synchronous and metachronous movement. In paramecium cilia shows two types of coordinative movements. First, what is synchronous movement? Cilia present in transverse row. Be it simultaneously in one direction. Like this. Cilia present in transverse row. For example, cilia are like this. Cilia present in transverse row. They beat simultaneously, all together, bend at a time like this, in one direction. We call this type of bending of cilia, movement of cilia, as synchronous movement. Synchronous movement. Whereas, what is metachronous movement? The sequential movement of cilia present in longitudinal row one after other. The movement passes like a wave. It resembles the movement of plants in a paddy field due to the blow of wind from one direction to other. So like these students, please observe this diagram. Now, cilia which are present in longitudinal row. The word longitudinal is very important students. Cilia present in longitudinal row. They bend one after other like this. Like this. They bend one after other like this is called metachronous movement students most important question i used a term called most so no one should go to the exam without learning this vsaq properly synchronous movement and metachronous movement see all cilia bend at a time in synchronous movement in one direction which are arranged in transverse row whereas in metachronous movement cilia which are present in longitudinal row they bend one after other like this so that is called metachronous movement now next question
right why do we refer the in the offspring formed by a sexual method of reproduction as a clone the offspring produced by a single parent without involvement of gamete formation is called clone the morphologically and genetically similar individuals are together called clone so here first statement second statement each statement carries one mark right students distinguish between proter and ophiste another important question students i am giving triple star to this and even this is an faq students for four marks two types of binary fusions are there compulsory you have to learn that one is transverse binary fusion in paramecium second one is longitudinal binary fusion in euglena you can expect any one question and you have to learn perfectly diagrams of paramecium and euglena labeled diagrams so the this all these questions most of the questions are the part of binary fusion so now the question what i'm going to say you explain you now distinguish between proter and ophiste it is the part of transverse binary fusion of paramecium students if i give you the quick revision of transverse binary fusion of paramecium so in transverse binary fusion of paramecium first karyokinesis occurs next cytokinesis occurs cell division occurs macronucleus divides by a mitosis micronucleus divides by mitosis and during at the end of the division we can see formation of two daughter paramecia two daughter paramecia the paramecia which is formed in the anterior side is called proter paramecia daughter paramecia which is formed in the posterior side is called opiste so proter opiste you can see proter received anterior contractal vacuole of parent opiste received posterior contractal vacuole of parent so this is the basic information about the transverse binary fusion in paramecium now uh, let us go back to vsq here in binary fusion the anterior daughter individual is called proter posterior daughter individual is called opiste first point proter receives anterior contractile vacuole even cytopharynx cytostome from the parent whereas opiste receives posterior contractile vacuole from the parent right in proter posterior contractile vacuole is newly formed you write this point whereas in opiste anterior contractile vacuole is newly formed so these points basic minimum these points you have to write for this answer is this clear students right proter opiste ip 2023 mein board exam ke paper mein aa gaya samajhna बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है स्टूडेंट्स ये क्वेश्चन को मत छोड़िए प्लीज सुनिए स्टूडेंट्स राइट डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन लोबोपोडियम एंड फाइलोपोडियम स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस क्वेश्चन आई वुड लाइक टू गिव सम बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट फोर टाइप्स ऑफ सुडोपोडिया
so four types of pseudopodia are lobopodia philopodia reticulopodia and actinopodia or axopodia lobe like pseudopodia are called lobopodia example amoeba and amoeba philopodia pseudopodia are pointed example euglypha lecithium reticulopodia pseudopodia are needle like and branched example polystemella elphidium globigerina actinopodia pseudopodia are pointed and are arranged in a radiating fashion so example actinophrys this question is very important for marks question students now coming back to this difference between lobopodia and philopodia these are blunt finger like pseudopodia example amoeba and amoeba just now I explained you Phyllopodium are fiber like pseudopodia. Example, Euglypha. Next. Another important question, students. Define conjugation with reference to ciliates. Give two examples. For this one mark, students, and for this one mark. So when you write two statements, then only you will be getting full marks. <clears throat> Conjugation is a temporary union between two weak or senile ciliates that belongs to two different mating types for exchange of nuclear material and reorganization of nuclear material. So function, it restores vigor and vitality. It restores vigor and vitality. Example, Paramecium verticella. Example, Paramecium verticella. Hope students, you are getting this. Next. So we have completed all important questions in locomotion and reproduction. Now let us switch on to another important chapter, Biology in Human Welfare. Distinguish between mechanical vector and biological vector. Important question even this one. In mechanical vector, parasite will not show any development. Whereas in biological vector, parasite will show some development. Example for mechanical vector, houseflies and cockroaches in the case of Entamoeba histolytica. And example for biological vectors, Female anopheles mosquito in the case of Plasmodium. <clears throat> Another FAQ frequently asked question students. What is hyperparasite? Mention the name of hyperparasite. If a parasite lives on the body of another parasite, then we call that as hyperparasitism. Example, Nosema notabilis is a parasite on Spirospora polymorpha, which is para parasite on toad fish. So here Nosema notabilis is hyperparasite, Spirospora polymorpha is a parasite, toad fish is host. Next question. What do you mean by parasitic castration? Give an example. You know castration means gonads becomes inactive, sterile, sterility. So degeneration of gonads of the host due to the presence of parasite is called parasitic castration. One mark. Another mark, example. Sacculina is a parasite. It causes damage or degeneration or inactivation of ovaries in crabs right 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स डिफाइन नियो प्लासिया गिवन एग्जाम्पल नियो प्लासिया मीन्स एबनॉर्मल इंक्रीज इन द साइज ऑफ सेल ऑफ द होस्ट ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ पैरासाइट लाइक दिस नॉर्मल सेल इज लाइक दिस एबनॉर्मल इंक्रीज इन द साइज ऑफ द सेल समटाइम्स इट लीड्स टू कैंसर एग्जाम्पल कार्सिनोमा कॉस्ट बाय वायरस carcinoma is a type of cancer caused by virus right students yantamipa histolytica is a topic on which you can expect mandatory or guaranteed question either vsaq or four marks with my experience i am saying this yantamipa histolytica is an obligatory in europe compulsory in europe obligatory in europe so why the absence of mitochondria indicates it is obligatory in europe then why it has to become like that because it lives in the gut of or it lives in the large intestine of man where the oxygen is very less to overcome that so it can survive even in the absence of oxygen and mitochondria is become useless no mitochondria mitochondria is absent very very important question students next so in previous years this type of questions also appeared the next two questions what i am going to present you a person is suffering from bowel irregularity constipation that is abdominal pain blood and mucus in the stools based on these symptoms can you name the disease name of the disease is amoebic dysentery and causative organism is entamoeba histolytica very simple next same question students these are frequently asked questions don't leave these questions and very easy to answer question might be lengthier sometimes question might be lengthier so you need to show your passion patience to read that question properly understand what exactly is the answer for that you can score a highest marks an advice of doctor a patient has gone to a clinical laboratory for the examination of sample of feces the lab technician on observing the stool of patient diagnosed that the patient was suffering from amoebiasis right any two characteristic features based on which the technician came to an conclusion so one is acidic stools containing blood and mucus second feces with large number of trophozoites feeding stages of entamoeba histolytica containing the ingested rbcs in their food vacuoles and even the presence of tetranucleated cyst so this if possible you draw this diagram and write tetranucleated cyst so isme kya likhna hai aapko एक तो टेट्रा न्यूक्लियटेड सिस्ट लिखना है और दूसरा एसिडिक स्टूल्स म्यूकस ब्लड एंड ट्रोफोजॉइड ट्रोफोजॉइड के अंदर ये जो फूड वैक्यूल है फूड वैक्यूल के अंदर इंजेस्टेड ब्लड सेल्स है वगैरह वगैरह सेल्स है पूरे चीज आप आपको लिखना है राइट right. define pre patent period go through this answer define incubation period even you have to go through these answers next what are hemozoin granules most expected question the globin part of ingested hemoglobin is digested by malarial parasite and gets converted into in soluble crystalline form which is a soluble and it is called hemozoin 
right what is their significance whenever these hemozoin granules are released once erythrocytic cycle is completed the patient with suffer with malaria fever symptoms so that is the significance clear students right so that is what said in the above question incubation period the time taken from the entry of parasite that is in the form of sporozoids into the body and exhibiting of disease causing symptoms is called incubation period which takes for about 10 to 14 days jab bhi hemozoin granules erythrocytic cycle complete kar leke bahar niklenge blood ke andar tab wo patient ko malaria symptoms exhibit honge clear students right so this question we have given in our Uh, half yearly exams even the eggs of ascaris are called mammillated eggs justify for this you need to draw diagram right the eggs of ascaris have a protein outer coat which has rippled the surface wavy surface rippled surface so the eggs of ascaris are called mammillated eggs another important and hit list question i can say students hit list question i am keeping a triple star for this most important question what is meant by nocturnal periodicity aisa ye question ye question ko seekhte waqt aisa seekhna hai ki ye aa gaya exam mein aapko malum ho gaya ki exam mein aa gaya bol ke jab aapko malum ho gaya exam mein aa gaya to kaisa padhte answer kaisa yaad karte waisa yaad karna hai so what is meant by nocturnal periodicity with reference to the life history of a nematode parasite you have studied migration of sheeted microfilaria larva of ucararia bancrofti from deeper blood vessels to peripheral blood vessels between 10 pm to 4 am is called nocturnal periodicity next in which way does tobacco affect respiration name the alkaloid found in tobacco carbon monoxide levels are increased by smoking the carbon monoxide levels decrease oxygen levels in the blood affecting respiration the alkaloid found in tobacco is nicotine next question all these are important questions no need to specify that this is going to come in exam define drug abuse it is taking of a drug in excessive for the purpose other than medicinal use i think you understood this it leads to physical psychological disturbances sometimes irreparable damage to the body next question from which substances smack and coke are obtained smack is also called heroin it is obtained by acetylation of morphine coke is also called crack it is obtained from cocaine coke alkaloid next why are the cannabinoids and anabolic steroids banned in sports and games cannabinoids and anabolic steroids are banned in sports and games because these drugs enhance the performance enhances the performance in sports person than their originality it enhances their performance instantaneously it gives energy to the to that athlete so actual original talent uh, will not be exhibited and once this is taken it enhances their capability and 
दे मे यू नो गेट विन इन द ट्रेस सो दिस मे बी लाइक टोटल इनजस्टिस विथ अदर एथलेट्स सो डोपिंग टेस्ट इज डन एंड इट इज बैंड यूज यूज ऑफ दिस स्टीरोड एनाबोलिक स्टीरोड्स इज बैंड राइट next to question students mention the names of any drugs which are used as medicines to treat the patients with mental illness like depression insomnia etc that are often abused example barbiturates amphetamines benzodiazepines lsd lysergic acid Di ethyl amine. I repeat one more time: barbiturates, amphetamines, benzodiazepines, LSD. Please remember these. These are the drugs which are used to treat the patients who are suffering from mental illness. Right. Insomnia is sleeplessness. With that, we have completed two important topics, students. <clears throat> next let us focus on cockroach topic periplaneta americana structures which helps to walk on smooth and rough surfaces structures which helps to walk on smooth surfaces are plantulae and which helps to walk on rough surfaces aerolium the word plantulae smooth surfaces aerolium rough surfaces is important students why is the head in cockroach is called hypognathous head so even in previous neat papers these type of questions appeared bits appeared by learning all these vsaqs students even you will become perfect you will become perfect in for neat exam also so why is the head of cockroach is called hypognathous the head of cockroach is present right angle to the longitudinal axis of the body and mouth parts are directed downwards so head is called hypognathous head next question which part of the gut secretes peritropic membrane in cockroach the funnel like stomodial valve of gizzard secretes peritropic membrane which envelop the bolus what are trichomes write their functions trichomes are small hair like structures present in the spiracles they filter the dust particles which enter into the body during inspiration why is the respiratory system of cockroach called polyneustic and holoneustic system because cockroach has more than 3 pairs of spiracles 10 pairs of spiracles are present two pairs are present in thoracic region eight pairs are present in abdominal region as more than three pairs of spiracles are present we call this as polyneustic system and all the spiracles are functional hence the word holoneustic system is apt hope students you understood this also another important question which is frequently asked what is intima the walls of trachea is made up of three layers the innermost layer of trachea is called intima it forms the spiral thickening called tinea it is present in the respiratory system of cockroach so you know the respiratory system of cockroach students so let us imagine this is a trachea the wall of the trachea is made up of three layers the innermost wall layer is called intima and this intima forms these spiral ring like structures called tinea 
which gives support to trachea. Another important question, students, what is storage excretion? What is storage excretion? Urate cells are present in fat bodies of cockroach. They absorb and store uric acid throughout the life. This process is called storage excretion. Cockroach ke hemolymph ke andar fat bodies rehte. Fat body ke andar ek aisa cell hai jiska naam hai urate cell. Ye urate cell kya karta? यूरिक एसिड को एब्जॉर्ब कर लेके उसके अंदर स्टोर करता थ्रू आउट द लाइफ सो इसको बोलते हैं स्टोरेज एक्सक्रीशन होप स्टूडेंट्स यू आर गेटिंग माय पॉइंट राइट सो नीट में ये भी क्वेश्चन पढ़े स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट इज पारोमेटाबोलस डेवलपमेंट इन कॉकरोच है इन कॉकरोच मेटामोरफोसिस इज ग्रेजुअली थ्रू न्यूफल स्टेज तो थोड़ा इसके ऊपर एक एक्सप्लेनेशन देता हूं आप अगर सिल्कवाम का लाइफ हिस्ट्री देखें मेटामोरफोसिस देखें कंप्लीट मेटामोरफोसिस होता मींस इन द लाइफ साइकल यू कैन सी फोर स्टेजेस लाइक एग लार्वा फ्यूफा एडल्ट अगर चारों भी स्टेजेस है इसको बोलते हैं कंप्लीट मेटामोरफोसिस लेकिन होलो मेटाबोलस बोलते हैं उसको लेकिन यहां काक्रोच के अंदर क्या है लार्वा नहीं दिखता निम्फल स्टेज दिखता सो मेटामोरफोसिस इज डन बट इट इज नॉट कंप्लीट इवन फॉर नीड दिस पॉइंट इज इंपॉर्टेंट स्टूडेंट पारो मेटाबोलस इंसेक्ट सो नाउ कमिंग टू लास्ट चैप्टर विच हैज मेनी बी एस ए क्यूज ecology and environment define the term ecology and what are its branches the study of relationship between living organisms and non living abiotic factors is called ecology the two branches of ecology one is articology second one is synecology articology is also called species or population ecology sine ecology it is structure development and distribution of ecological communities at least you have to write articology and sine ecology students ye jo question hai bahut important hai distinguish between phototaxis and photokinesis phototaxis is oriented locomotion of an organism towards or away from the direction of light for example you glina if you take a glass of some water in which you glinas are present kept in a dark room if you torch on that glass you glinas will try to come towards the light positively phototactic see this is what we can uh, say as phototaxis then what is photokinesis it is influence of light on non directional movement of organisms for example muscle crab see uh, let me explain you about photokinesis for example aap ek classroom mein baithe hue hai ya aapke ghar mein hai aap log ye raat ke time mein acha khasa light hai हाँ पूरा फुल उजाला है आप बैठे तो आप जिधर बोलो उधर वो लाइट की रोशनी में वो रोशनी में आप चल सकते हैं दौड़ सकते हैं लेकिन समझो सडनली करंट चले गया लाइट चले गया तो क्या आप तेजी से इधर उधर भाग सकते हैं नहीं करते तो लाइट क्या कर रहा आपके स्पीड को डिक्टेट कर रहा सो इंक्रीज द स्पीड और डिक्रीज द स्पीड दैट इज वॉट वी कॉल फोटो next one circadian rhythms i used this term many times biological rhythm that occurs for every 24 hours or in a time period of 24 hours is called circadian rhythms see uh, birds for example to make you understand birds in the early morning 6 o'clock they leave the nest they leave their nest 
in search of food or some other activity again they will perform the same activity after 24 hours so if any activity is performed again and again of within a time period of 24 hours that rhythm is called circadian rhythm what is photoperiodism the response of organisms for the photo period is called photoperiodism what is photo period photo means light period the time taken from sunrise to sunset photo period example reproduction of flowers migration of birds jab bhi a question aise questions puche आपको कंपलसरी एग्जांपल्स लिखना है जो कि हम मटेरियल में दिए हुए हैं आपको ये मटेरियल अगर होना है तो अप्रोच कर सकते हमारे कैंपस में तो आपको ये मटेरियल का पीडीएफ या प्रिंटेड कॉपी मिल जाएगा राइट मेंशन द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ some uv rays to us another important question students uv radiation kills microorganisms uv radiation helps in the conversion of sterols present in the skin into vitamin d specifically in mammals mammals mein jab bhi uv rays apne skin pe girta skin ke andar aisa sterols vitamin d ke wajah se convert hone mein uh, ye uv rays help karte so that is the reason early morning sunlight is very useful vitamin d is called sunshine vitamin bol ke bolte hai isko what is cyclomorphosis another important question students explain the importance in daphnia sorry cyclic seasonal morphological variations among certain organisms is called cyclomorphosis in the case of daphnia it is an adaptation to stabilize the movement in water and can resist the water currents better to stay in water or rich in food materials see students for example this is any pond or a lake during summer season when temperature is high so obviously the water gets heated up during summer season now when the level of oxygen decreases in water daphnia which is a crustacean it has to swim a lot uh, to stay in the upper surfaces of the water so in during this process it may lose energy to stabilize its body to stay in the water suspended uh, to be suspended in the water it will develop a helmet like structure on its head in summer season which creates buoyancy and it can stabilize uh, its body in the water so that uh, it can stay in the area where food oxygen is ample and this helmet like structure again it will disappear when the season changes when winter season comes so this seasonal change in a living organism is called cyclomorphosis it is observed uh, for example in daphnia and it is explained by scientist coker right what are regulators organisms are able to maintain homeostasis by physiological means which ensure constant body temperature constant osmotic concentration and they are called regulators for example mammals organisms which can maintain constant body temperature are called regulators for example mammals next what are conformers organisms which cannot maintain constant body temperature are called conformers example aquatic animals now students from here onwards 1 2 3 4 5 so these five questions are very 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 important students okay please understand even important for 
neat very 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 important for ipe even it is important for neat content define commensalism give an example the interaction in which one species will be benefited other will be neither harmed or benefited is called commensalism for example barnacles growing on the back of whale benefit while whales derives no noticeable benefit you might have seen whales students mutualism is a type of interaction where both the species interacting species will be benefited for example lichens as you know the lichens is found by the association of algae and fungi next define amensalism students this is very important ip question and even in need this question was asked twice in the previous years amensalism the type of interaction in which one species is harmed the other one is neither benefited nor harmed it will remain neutral i would like to give one example for amensalism this is a previously asked need question like you know about antibiotics antibiotics are extractions of fungus you know fungus is also a living organism so when this antibiotic is taken as a medicine bacteria will be harmful bacteria will be killed but that fungal extract will not be having any effect so this type of interaction where bacteria is killed harmed and the other one the extract of antibiotic that is a fungus is neither benefited nor harmed this type of association is called amensalism again this question you can expect now coming to camouflage what is camouflage give an example some species of insects frogs are cryptically colored they changes their skin color so that they should not get detected by their enemies so this process is called camouflage right what is gauss's principle when does it is applicable when the resources are limited students when the resources are limited the competitively superior species will eventually eliminate the other species it is relatively easy to demonstrate in laboratory experiments so example given in textbook in academy book and even in neat books that ebingdon tortoises of galapagos islands got extincted because of when goats are introduced you know goats are voracious grazers and there is no food for this slow grazers ebingdon tortoises and eventually they got eliminated and extincted so this is what explained by gauss now distinguish between newton and nekton in pond ecosystem eight marks question lake as an ecosystem eight marks question when i am explaining i said you that nekton newton periphyton benthos all these can be asked as two marks questions so in that newton and nekton so what are newtons animals which lives in air water interface are called newtons animals which lives above the air water interface are called epineustons 
and animals which lives below the air water interface are called hyponeuston and coming to nekton animals which have well developed locomotory structures which can swim again as the water currents like fishes they comes under the category of nekton and insect examples for nekton renetra scorpion notonecta back swimmers what is periphyton animals which clings to the aquatic plants to hydrophytes are called periphyton the best example snails tadpole larva a frog all these comes under periphyton right now what is par sun is the only source of energy for all for all ecosystems on earth of the total incident solar radiation less than 50% of it is available for the plants to perform photosynthesis and that light which is available for the green plants to perform photosynthesis is called par photosynthetically active radiation another important question students what is standing crop the amount of biomass present in a particular time and in that particular period is called standing crop each trophic level has certain mass of living material at a particular time is called standing crop it is measured as a mass of living organisms biomass or number of living organisms per unit area so what is gpp and npp gpp gross primary productivity npp net primary productivity gpp minus r is equal to npp on an average this r will be 20 to 25 percent which air pollutants are chiefly responsible for acid rains sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are the major causes for acid rains acid rains increase uh, the soil acidification and decrease the fertility of the soil it causes harmful effects uh, you know to living organisms even it may cause damage to world monuments next students next question what is bod bod is biological oxygen demand important question the demand of oxygen is measured in the terms of oxygen consumed by microorganisms over a period of 5 days or 7 days another important question students what is biological magnification increase in the concentration of pollutants at successive trophic levels specifically in aquatic food chain is called biological magnification or bio magnification for example ddt for example mercury pollution right why incinerators are used in hospitals to dispose hospital wastes because they are used for burning the hazardous hospital waste such as disinfectants containing the pathogenic microorganisms to prevent the spread of diseases explain bioluminescence emission of light by living organisms is called bioluminescence 
the light is emitted by living organisms and it is not uh, it does not consist of or it is devoid of irs infrared rays so it is even called cold light example jellyfishes ketopterus firefly what is limnology what is limnology study of freshwater ecosystem is called limnology another important question students distinguish between food chain and food web the linear arrangement of food energy passes from one trophic level to other trophic level from lower to higher trophic levels is called food chain food chains can be even asked for eight marks question students you need to be ready for you know uh, with that answer what is food web the interconnection of many food chains is called food web what is greenhouse effect it is a naturally occurring phenomena that warms the earth's atmosphere it is called greenhouse effect because the exchange of incoming and outgoing radiation that warms the planet is very similar to a greenhouse greenhouse gases carbon monoxide methane it is very important to write greenhouse gases so what why are catalytic converters used in automobiles they reduce the emission of poisonous gases but when someone uses the petrol or diesel with lead that lead will inactivate catalytic converters and of no use so compulsory should use unleaded petrol and these catalytic converters have expensive metals like platinum palladium and rhodium so catalytic converters have expensive metals like platinum palladium and rhodium so all the best students ms education academy preparing world worthy individuals